Morning, everybody. Uh, let's see, we are doing a mold pull and well, yep, and doing a, that's it, that's it, we're doing a mold pull. All right, before I get started, I just wanted to show off the uh, goddess body now that it's secure on its pedestal. I just already had this little coaster lying around and it kind of matched the aesthetic, so just a little bit of uh, resin out there in the basin to cement the thing in place and now she will not top all over okay so let's get started with some new molds i have a new little kitty sculpture Which is surprisingly difficult to demold. Come on out of there. <laughs> Irony. Trying to get the kitty sculpture out of the mold is like trying to get a cat out of a place they don't want to get out of. Alright. There we have it. Cute little thing. I like the play of colors going on in there. Okay, let's go on to the new castle mold. Which will hopefully behave better than the kid catty kit kitty. Hmm. Gonna be one of those days, huh? Okay, definitely cool with that. I like it a lot. Moving on to the latest spooky guy. Purple hood action and some glow in the dark glitter. <laughs> How did that happen? All right, now for the dice holder mold. Ice holders are so much fun to make. It's, I mean, frankly, for somebody who's never played D&D, I love making pretty much anything that's D&D related. However, it is much more satisfying to make a dice holder that I know will actually fit the dice that I can make than one that doesn't. Here's, uh, here's a custom-made dice holder. Can't make you the matching dice, though. No longer an issue. Okay. And lastly, we have... Three new sets of dice. Right, I'm going to start with the bottom one. This one that was problematic the last time I used it, which is ironic because this used to be the dice mold that gave me the best looking dice. But now with the pressure pot, I'm worried that that will no longer be the case. So if these ones don't come out the way I would like, I may have to retire this dice mold.
right, so we finally, we finally locked in on the, the word for all this extra stuff, flashing. And nobody likes being flashed. Well, that's not true, not nobody. There's definitely a kink for that. Okay, let's see how we did. No surface bubbles. Nice and flat. Okay. Trying not to take quite so much time getting these uh, demolded because there have been complaints. I think that one's a little bit distended. So is that one. So is that one. Yep, this mold might be too flimsy for the pressure pot. Oh well, I can use these in other projects. Or string them up on necklaces. Alright, thank you for your service, dice mold, but your services will no longer be required. with that later. Okay, flashing. Well, it's a good thing I've almost gone through my bucket of coffee, because I'm going to need a new coffee pot, but coffee canister to hold all my extra bits of trash pretty soon, if not now. out. Okay, loving the colors on these, flat surfaces, no sign of bubbling, quit that, quit that, alright, and on to the last one. pot you are worth the money if only to save me from the frustration of having bubbles
Okay. And there we have it. Perfect dice. So at least I can make two sets at a time for now, until I uh, break down and order one of those really nice sets set off of uh, Druid dice, as I have been recommended to do. But uh, that looks like it for the mold pull. So thank you guys for joining me, and uh, I will see you on the next video.